Speedway racing is raw racing. It's dangerous, it's fast, the bikes have no brakes. They've got to be mad, these boys. Welcome to another episode of On Two Wheels, and boy, we're in your country now, mate. Definitely back at the speedway track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We haven't done it for the whole series, have we? No, no. It's been yeah. We we, had, we were gonna, and then we didn't, and then now yeah. we're finally back for another big one. This is the uh, Woofie meeting. Um, yeah, you're not gonna get bigger than this. Mate, meeting, big is not the words. Who no. have we got here? We got Freddie Lingram. We got Ty Woofenden. We got Steve Dolph Lingram. Yeah, Dolph. Lindgren. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's doing a, he's doing an acting scene over the back there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And uh, who else have we got? Um, Steve Jono Johnson. Jono's here. Yeah. yeah, John, a couple of local boys, Smarty, um, Winchester, they probably yeah, got John, a chance. Yeah, uh, John Stead from... Simon Stead, yeah, yeah, he's here as well. It's going to be huge. Yeah, this yeah. Is, but this is Perth, mate. What, yep. What's happened to them? They all said, oh, I'm coming for a holiday. Well, it's good weather, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic to get this amount of Speedway stars, or that amount of Speedway stars. <laughs> Last year, we interviewed Ivan Major yeah, here. Yeah, yep, yep. Now, um, he was here at this event as well, the same event, the Wolfenden, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, he was telling me this track is very similar to the tracks they run in the US. Yeah, in the US, they're as small as this. Some of them run concrete tracks as well with, with just dust that spread across the top. So, yeah, it is tiny tracks. And, it's amazing. And you won't get anything like this. Like, they'll come from Europe or England and go, what the bloody hell are we riding here? This is a junior training track. But well, no, what what we'll do is we'll action. go and have a chat with a few of the riders, yep. especially some of the visitors. Yeah, definitely. They all speak English, don't they? I'd hope so. Jono don't. No, he doesn't speak much. No, he doesn't know. Yeah, no. um, so we're going to have a chat with him yep. and we'll also see some of the action. Definitely. Enjoy the show. Well, I'm here with Ty. Ty, um, you're back in, back in Perth. How do you think you're going to go tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah um, it's, uh, obviously it's a meeting for my old boy, so I'm uh, you know, just looking forward to it. And, um, you know, just want to go out there and do my best and put on a show for the fans and um, yeah, see what happens at the end of it. So how do you think your campaign Grand Prix season went? Uh, it was pretty tough, you know, pretty, uh, pretty tough on your head, you know, psychological and... Um, you know, it was hard to keep your confidence up in your league racing when you after you get your ass kicked in the in the Grand Prix. But um, you know it's all good and uh, you know it's part of Speedway and um, I've learnt a lot this year and hoping to take that into next year as well. Well, you, well, you've come from here riding at this track as a junior and then you've moved over there. So what this is your second? That was your second season over there. Um, second season as a as a professional um, in the elite league. But I've done a I've done a few years. You know, it's my fourth season of racing. Um, you know, it's just so good to be back home. I haven't been home for two and a half years and um, it's so good to be back home and catch up with my mates and, uh, and all the people at Speedway. So the big question is, we see you on the TV, we see Ty Wolfenden from England. Are you, what's the go there? Yeah, it's a tough situation, you know. I, I was born in England and I got an English passport. Um, I grew up in Aussie, Aussie's home, you know. Uh, all my mates are from Aussie, I did all my schooling in Aussie. Um, you know, I like to call myself an Australian. Um, I think I deserve to call myself an Australian. And, um, you know, it was... Uh, it was uh, you know, part of the business to, to ride for England and, and represent England and uh, you know it's done me good so far and, uh, and I'll continue to do that. Sensational. Well, from a track your dad built and you rode around many a time, hope you go out there and kick some butt. Fingers crossed. Cheers mate. Cheers mate. Thanks. The stars that are here from all over the world, which is absolutely superb, standing next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Pontus Aspergren. and travelled a very, very long way. Ladies and gentlemen, Trevor Williams. All the way from Thornley. We set out about 10 hours ago. Ladies and gentlemen, from the UK, Simon Stead. Now riding in the UK, he's from Melbourne, Ty Proctor. A local rider, Daniel Winchester. And this guy has come a long way, all the way from Sweden, rides for Wolves UK, yeah? Wolves in the UK. Ladies and gentlemen, Ludwig Lindgren.
and travelled all of 10 minutes away, ladies and gentlemen, Brady Webb. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for another local rider, Cale Ballantyne. From Sweden, Ricky Kling. Also a local rider, Shannon Wern. Local but rides for Birmingham, Steve Jono Johnson. Brought your fans along, Jono. 11th in the GP, ladies and gentlemen from Sweden, Freddie Lindgren. This chap's ridden in for 10 years in the UK, Frank Smart. Rides for the UK, but we think he's Australian, Ty Woffenden. A local rider, Ethan Ballantyne. Where did you get that hat? From the UK, Joe Haynes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give him a big, big round of applause. I'm here with Steve Johnson. Big crowd support mate here. You brought a few people with you? Mate, it's, um, you know, it's just a show, not just the crowd that's here, but the riders that have turned up to ride in this meeting, that the, the respect that Rob Wolfenden had in Speedway worldwide. So, um, yeah, no, it's going to be a great event. Not bad for sleepy old Perth, is it, eh? No, it's good. You know, you think this track, you know, that, uh, you know, when I was a kid racing junior motocross, this is where we, the parents used to park their cars and sort of in a, in a space of about five or six years. I mean, what a little track we've got here and a training ground for kids that want to go oh. and race in England. It's... I wish it was around when I was a kid. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. Now, back to Birmingham. I don't know. I'll see what happens. I've only been back a week. Uh, the conference is on now as we talk, yep. you know, which decides all the new rules and what the team makeups are going to be. A couple of new teams in the Premier League, a few switches. So um, I'm just happy to get this meeting done. I hope it's a great event and actually have a couple of weeks away from Speedway. <laughs> so no, no retirement? I don't think so at the moment. We'll see what happens. You know, like I say, I've just done my 19th season in a row. It's a long time away from home. Yeah, very um, much. I do miss, I mean, as we know, anyone that lives in WA knows we live in the best place in the world. So I do miss not being here. I like racing my bike, but um, I don't know how much longer I want to travel to the uh, other side of the world to do it. We were talking to your dad the other day, and yep. he said you got involved with a motocross event. How did it go? Yeah, really good. It was just a vintage motocross event. I rode an old 490 uh, 81 model Mako, and um, they were men, the boys that rode those things. So uh, <laughs> I had a left hand kickstart, which got me in a bit of trouble. But I loved it. Farley Castle is a world famous track. Oh, I yeah. used to run the, yeah. um, the British GP, so it was a pleasure to ride there. Fantastic. Well, look, have a great meeting. We'll be, uh, we'll be rooting for you. I'll That's probably me, the wrong word, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'll do my own rooting now. You just, you just <laughs> barrack for me, mate. As we mentioned earlier on, Steve Jono Johnson is a Perth-born, uh, born and bred speedway rider. He now rides in Birmingham in the UK, but he came back to this event to uh, put a bit of weight behind it, and uh, he is now actually involved fully with the Pinjar Park Speedway track, and here's him winning one of his first heats.
Daniel Winchester. He's a local guy from, from Pinjar. You're out with the big boys tonight. How are you going? Um, not doing too bad. Struggling to keep up a little bit, but just out there have a bit of fun and see what happens. Yeah, um, it's, it's a big mission going out there against these guys and, and their equipment, but um, hope you can pull it through and hope you can get some more points and that's the way to go. And um, Who do you want to thank while you're here? Um, oh, I'd like to thank all the sponsors. Uh, uh, I just got some new ones, can't remember all. TC Classics, Scooter Moto, um, Tucker Time Racing, HT Tattooing. Um, yeah, there's a cu couple more, but can't remember them all. Well, um, go out and score more points, and yeah, you can do it. Yep, too easy. All right, bud. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. <laughs> We'll be back with more Speedway after the break. Well, we'll go back to the Speedway uh, very, very shortly. I hope you're enjoying it. It's absolutely a fantastic day. It's amazing that a small Speedway track um, like that here in WA can attract so many top stars. I've moved down to Joondalup, Joondalup Arena, and I'm here with Nolene. How are you doing, Nolene? Very well, thank you, Keith. Meet again. Thank now, you. Nolene, you run West Coast Motorcycle Clothing. We do, yes, and we've actually started a new business, uh, Gel Cushions Australia. That's what I'm here for because there's a lot of talk about these gel seats. There's, I mean, the, the, the main one is Airhawk, yes. but we've had a few problems with Airhawk. People have said when they're going around bends and things, their actually air is pushing them over a few extra degrees. Yeah, we have heard that. Um, the gel seat is different in that it doesn't go from one side to the other. So the gel stays stable on both sides of the, of the seat, so therefore you get a stable, closer ride to your seat. It holds your cheeks in place, it does, does it? Yes. How do they actually work? Can you show us something? We've got a bike here which yes. someone's very kindly lent us because I've got to tell you, we're here a bit late and there's nobody left. There's only us. That's all there is here in this <laughs> main good. arena. The whole of the arena and everyone else is buggered off. So we got here a bit late. But then show us how these things work then. We have a universal size seat which is for the large cruisers and possibly the trikes. Um, for a bike like this, we have a mid-size seat. Um, it has a non-slip back on it. And you'll feel, they've been in the sun all day, the material's actually not hot. They're not hot at all, are they? No. And then they just sit on there. They, they've got straps. Let's have a look. Yep. Let's have a look. So, I mean, this we is can't. a high bike. We... So, obviously, the seat will sit on there. And then we have also have a pillion seat. We get many people, you know, saying, you know, the worst ride's a pillion ride because the seats are so small and um, hard. Mm -hmm. This also will go under the, under the and seat. And sit on there. there. Um, You'll see how it isn't overly oversized, so you, your bottom and the cushion remains on the seat at all times. They're not massive, are they? They're but not. they do they still? This is like just a, like a gel inside, is it? It is. It's it's a um, high tech gel, um, which doesn't change consistency in the weather. So when it's hot, it won't go runny and really watery, and if it's cold weather, they won't go hard and set. So the the, the gel remains the same. And the other thing is also. Um, the gel doesn't go from side to side. I and can see it's actually sealed yeah, in the middle. You so do. You have four, you got four your left chambers. And right, left and right bum cheek. cheek. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. There goes the sign. <laughs> left and right bum cheek sit on there. Yeah. Really nice. And you get the small pads at the front for under your under your legs. Under your legs. That's yep. fantastic. Yep. They're absolutely amazing. And um, now you're, you're going to be obviously distributing these. We will do in the new year. We hope to get a few motorcycle stores, um, shops on, on board yeah. and actually stock them in their shops. Um, no, like we have you out here today with them and we also have them going into the Liver Ride magazine in the new year as well. Oh fantastic. Now was there much interest today? There was a few thousand people here I think. Lots of interest, lots of brochures went out so yeah the come new year lots of people will be using them yes. Being a West Australian company you do um, you do leathers you do pretty much everything for motorcycle. We do yes we've got the mesh jackets now um, our new range of mesh jackets we do Ned's jeans um, yeah, we do have we do leathers. We've got premium range of leathers also, which have removable liners and vented spent. If people want to see your gear, where are you? Um, we're on wcmc.com.au um, or on the weekend, right up driving up and say hi. 
Um, and the cushions are gel cushions gelcushions.com.au Fantastic, Nolene. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your recent wedding. Thank you. Well done. And um, certainly we'll be down to Dwelling Up to see you. It's a fantastic ride if you want to go down there. It's a brilliant ride out and you can also see some amazing clothing at really, really good prices. Forget about going on the internet and buying overseas. Go down and see these guys. You're going to pay a good price and you're going to get a real bargain down there. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much and thanks to all these fantastic people here that have stayed here and uh, you know, if you just want to pan the camera around, um, do you want to just pan the camera around to the big crowd that's here? There you go. Look at it. Fantastic. Hello. Not a bloody soul left in the place. Um, also something else to mention, the gel seat is waterproof. Um, so it doesn't soak the rain. If it's a wet day, you actually won't get a really wet bottom on it. And um, yeah, and they're really handy. You can take them off the bike and take them into the football with you or the concert. And you've actually got a stadium seat as well. Of course, never thought about that. Yeah. That's fantastic. They do yeah. actually fold in half, so yeah. they're nice and convenient to take with you yeah. off the bike as well. And they're, 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 you know, being gel, you could just get away with them as being, I don't know <laughs> what, <laughs> chest pads or whatever. Thank you very much, Nolene. You're Cheers. Welcome. Thanks, Keith. Well, it's interval tight. We're here. How have you been going? Um, yeah, it's been pretty good so far. Um, I've had a second and a win, so just trying to stay consistent and um, you know just keep going fast and uh, you know, put on a show for the fans. Excellent. All the points add up over the night. Um, uh, so yeah, seconds you can get a couple of them to get into the finals as long as you're consistent. So you think you got it for the final? Yeah, I didn't actually know there was a final until just then. So um, <laughs> you know I do now, but yeah, best yeah. Uh, best pull my finger out and score some more points. All right, no worries. Well, I hope your night goes well and enjoy. Cheers, mate. All the way from the UK, Joe Haynes. How are you enjoying Australia, mate? Yeah, really good. I've been working with Ty Proctor's dad this week, and it's pretty, pretty cool, so I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you're a bit of a tan there, mate. You yeah, enjoying yeah, the sun? Yeah, I'm peeling a bit, but hopefully <laughs> I get used to it. How long are you out here for? Uh, three months till the 10th of February. Fantastic. Yeah, oh, you're so going to go to February? You're oh, going to get yeah. the real good weather. Yeah, that's it. Is this your first Christmas in Australia? No, no, I did last season here. Yeah? So, yeah. Enjoy it? Yeah, it's been good, yeah. Not bad, sun, yeah. sea. I'm back again, so obviously. Women? Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the hat, mate? Oh, uh, just a bit of fun. You know, protect the head, yeah. yeah. Just keeping my head warm. And yeah. Warm. Warm, yeah. <laughs> well, look, have a, how are you going out there? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, I won the first one and didn't have a. I got third in my next one, but hopefully, I can get another win in this next one. Yeah, well, it's great to see you here. It's fantastic yeah. that you've all come over. Um, it's not bad for a little old place like Perth. We've got a magnificent turnout. And uh, who, 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 who are you going to look out for tonight? Who do you reckon you Uh I mean, I think the locals are going well, aren't they? But obviously all the lads who ride in England and yeah. the Swedes and stuff, they're all on it. They all know what they're John doing. doing all right. Yeah, John O's doing well. He's around the board, so yeah. we know where he is. Ah, sort him out, mate. Yeah. Great stuff. Thanks Great to see you here. Hope Cheers. to see you again. Will do. Cheers, mate. Ty Proctor throughout the evening absolutely thrilled the fans with some amazing close racing. Have a watch of this. couldn't come to Pinjar Speedway track without looking at the sidecars. This is an incredible place to watch sidecar racing. I'd love to see it on a bigger track where maybe they have four or five sidecars, but with three, oh my goodness, it is so, so thrilling.
it's time for the uh, Woofenden Classic final. Freddie Lindgren, Ty Proctor, Steve John Johnson and Ricky Kling. That's the four riders that have uh, got through to the Woofenden Classic final. <laughs> There you have it. Winner, Freddie Lindgren from Sweden. Uh, second place, Ty Proctor. Steve John and Johnson. And bringing up the rear, fourth place, Ricky Kling. First place. Freddie Lindgren. Yeah, that's right. The cool, cool three. I'm here with the winner. Well done, Freddie. Congratulations, mate. Worth the trip? Definitely. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been hard work tonight. You know, it's a tough challenge with a track that I've never been to before and very special track indeed with uh, very small and very technical. So I'm really happy for to win and happy for the club with a really good turnout and uh, you know, it's been awesome. Fantastic. And um, you say it's, it is a small track, isn't it? Definitely. You know, it's nothing like I'm used to ride over in yeah. Europe. So uh, it was a big challenge. and. Maybe it took me a couple of rides before I got dialed in, but uh, in the end I was really happy to, to do it in the final. Well, at the end you certainly did do it, mate. Thank you very much for coming. I think the car's ready to take you around on a lap of honour. Thank you very much, Freddie. Look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you very much. Cheers, matey. Thanks. Well, that's about it for this episode of On Two Wheels. We'll see you again next week. There's the winners. They're going round. Goodbye from Pinjar Park. <laughs>